Hey, good morning from windy southern Nevada. Hey, I'm going to do things a little different in this review. I'm going to just immediately start shooting this little pistol and then I'll go into my shop and review it only because the wind is blowing really bad. My audio probably sucks and since I'm out here I might as well shoot it. So let's go ahead and start shooting this little Canix TP9 Elite. I've never shot this pistol before so I'm just going to shoot slow and see where it's hitting. Ah, looks like shooting just a little high. that ah, don't like that pretty good in this wind try one more little bit high ah son of a gun and I had one round left Man, I'll tell you, what a sweet shooting pistol, even in the wind. Anyways, let's go back to my shop. We'll take a closer look at it. All right, let's get started. A little less wind in here. Canic. Now, I know there's several different ways this is pronounced, but I think in America, most people pronounce it Canic, so that's what I'm going to call it. It does come in a nice case. And... Comes with all the paperwork, cleaning brush, a uh, cleaning rod. But uh, look at that. Comes with two magazines. We'll go over those here in a moment. Comes with a little kit. Uh, has extra screws and Allen wrenches in it. You got your lock, chamber indicator. Does come with a very nice holster, actually. This is the one I was using in the video. Let's take that out just for a second. And you can adjust this for inside the waistband or outside. And it comes with two back straps, large and small. Also comes with a base pad for your magazine. If you don't want the, uh, the finger grip on it, you can take this off and put this on. And let's see. You know what? I think that's it for the case. Let's take a look at the pistol. All right, here we go. That is really a nice looking little pistol, isn't it? Does have a, a tungsten Cerakote finish on it. Polymer frame, striker fired, 
is unloaded of course and let's take a, a look at the magazines real quick and I'm going to show some photographs while I'm talking about this might be a little easier to see this pistol that way but it does come with uh, two magazines a 12 rounder and a 15 round magazine and here's the 12 rounder you can see where it sticks out right here and 15 rounder I like the 15 rounder because I get a better grip on it although it's not going to conceal quite as well as with the 12 round magazine all right slide lock on both sides of the pistol here's your takedown levers we'll show you that here in a moment and does have the uh, safety trigger on it magazine release which you can switch over to the other side if you like I like the sights on it it's got uh, pretty good sights I can see them very well when I'm shooting and right here it has a striker indicator status if you see that little red dot it means it is cocked and ready to fire and just to double check and when you fire that should disappear it's like that does have a plate so you can put a, uh, a red dot on this I'll show you what that looks like this pistol actually belongs to a young lady named Christine she uh, she does carry this actually loves to shoot it she does have the uh, red dot on it but you know what I I've been shooting handguns for 45 years and I've never shot one with a, a red dot so I'm just not used to it uh, so I took it off maybe someday I'll spend the time to um, practice with a red dot and get and uh, get good with it but I'll tell you this you give me a rifle with a red dot on it and I'm gonna kick some butt anyways the pistol is made in Turkey let's see if we can get a closer look here and does have a 1913 rail on it match grade barrel which is 3.6 inches weight on this is 24.8 ounces all right you know what I'm going to show you how to disassemble this very simple actually lock back to slide make sure there's no magazine the chamber is empty point the pistol in safe direction pull the trigger now I just pull down on both of these levers at the same time actually pull the slide back just slightly if you want and once you pull those down slide it forward oh, about an inch or until it clears this uh, rail right here and then you can just lift it right off and of course like most modern pistols it comes apart very easy and there you have it easy to put back together just line it up just before uh, the rail just just about like so slide it back and BAM there you go okay. you know this pistol also has a loaded chamber indicator right here now I have an empty case in here and you can see that this piece is sticking up just a little bit now you know it's kind of hard to see but mainly at night time you can fill that and if you can fill that you know there's a round in a chamber and if I take the round out then that piece is flush with the slide and you know instantly it is not loaded you know don't let the low price on on these Canic pistols scare you because you, you know this pistol right here you can get um, for between 375 and 400 bucks uh, the quality is really excellent I have reviewed several Canic pistols and just really have been impressed with uh, the quality in fact Christine and her husband Daniel they uh, I think they own about four Canic pistols might even be five now but man what an excellent little pistol so maybe someday I'll get another opportunity to take this out and put some rounds through it but in the meantime guys I just want to 
Thank you for watching my video, and uh, we'll see you next time.